All right, welcome to Rooftop Ministries. Uh, I believe this is going to be a meal, snack time, excuse me, a snack for the pastor Ray. It could be a meal, we'll see. Just talking about how, wherever God leads me, you will see. Um, there's a verse in Colossians. I'm going to actually start with Colossians 3, 5, and we'll go through verse 6. And we're commanded to share the gospel. And we're commanded to share the gospel, and because the Bible says, make disciples of all nations. If we can make disciples, you have to win them to Christ, share the gospel. And we, are, you know, he talks about the field ready for harvest. It just needs laborers to pick them, which is us to, as Christians, go out and share the gospel, win the people to Christ. Problem is, a lot of people do it wrong. Um, they go out and they do the turn or burn, you know, and they preach, if you get right or go to hell. They preach an angry God. And we wonder why this nation is turning away from God and turning away from Christianity. Because this has become a religion and it meant to be a relationship. Jesus referred to God as a father. Paul says... We, the Holy Spirit gives us the right to refer to God as Abba, Father. And we, he, my wife is about to start a Bible study with our church, a Muslim church in Grantsburg. If y'all in this area, we'd love to see you there. And could we have a great pastor there? And it's going to be based on Hosanna Wong's book, How Not to Save the World. She's not saying you don't go out and share the gospel, but she's talking about doing it right. And a lot of people are missing this verse. Starting in verse 5, conduct yourself with wisdom towards outsiders, making the most of opportunities. When it's outsiders, and I'm trying to, in Colossians 4 5, Well, literally redeeming the time with outsiders. But it referred to um, maybe non Christians, people who are not in the church, the outside the church. Is, you know, when we're speaking with them, making the most of every opportunity. For what? For increasing heaven, the size of heaven, making heaven bigger, winning them to Christ. We can't save them. We can't convert them. Our job is to plant the seed. It says, Your speech must always be with grace, as those seasoned with salt. How many out there have heard people share the gospel with no grace, wasn't seasoned? But what's salt? Salt is used to make food taste better. It's seasoning. And you know, when you eat food and it's missing the salt, you know it. Man, this is a neat season. Here in the South, we love to season with salt. We love to use corn meat, that salt meat. Like collars, corn pigtails. We put salt on everything. And we are to season our words with them with salt, which makes it more eatable. So we share in the gospel, make it more eatable with grace and love. Because, you know, Jesus said in John, 16, they would know you are my disciples by the way you love one another. And when you talking about showing them an angry God and sharing the gospel and trying to force them to get saved and trying to bump them in the head with the Bible, preaching do's and don'ts, and talking about how bad they are, you're not, that's not grace. That's not being loving. That's not seasoned. And Everybody, most people have heard that version of the gospel. Which, gospel is good news. It's about God coming to save us. Because he loves us. And he says, whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Alright, that's not being forced. You know, and he says in Romans 10 9, if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that... 
Jesus is Lord and God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. That's a loving God. And that's why we should be preaching a loving God. Our job is to plant the seed. And the rest of that verse is so that you would know how you should respond to each person. You know, I think it's very important to share the gospel in a way that you can let the people know that you're not trying to force them to be saved, that you care about them, that you love them. My wife and I just watched a movie yesterday. It's about a Jewish Christian couple. And then in the time Hitler was taken over in Romania. And they were being mistreated because they were Jewish. What they do, even though he just, they both accepted Christ and he was a Jewish minister. They loved people. They loved the neighbors. They loved them until they started became friends with them. And they, going people in the church, I mean in the um, Hitler's army that were, and this is a true story, that were persecuting them and killing Jews. And they're mainly hugging them, loving them, and treating them right. That is what the world needs. Um, we are the light. And I have a sermon called Be the Light. And I would love for y'all to get back and watch that and like the video. And, you know, we are supposed to be the light in a dark world. We're supposed to guide people to God. We can't bring them to God. We can't drive them to God. We are to be a light to help them find God. You know, because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Uh, the word way in that verse is the same thing as road. We, he is the road to the Father through his death. And, and that's what people need to see. And if you ever been on a dark country road or road at night that has no light, it's hard to see. And then you go in areas where the roads are very well lit, you can see very well. We are the light. We are the street lights. We are the lighthouse. And we do that by saying, showing grace to people, seizing our speech, seizing the way we talk the gospel with wisdom. And sometimes you just got to get to know the person first. Know what their interests are. Know what they love. And get on their level. Speak of the things that interest them. Uh, you know, don't, when you have carrying a conversation, you know, about the family, about you see someone that have pictures of their family and all this stuff. So, yeah, I have grandchildren. And yeah, I love them to death. And just let the conversation, and the Holy Spirit will lead you to the conversation to sharing the gospel. And you just gotta follow the Holy Spirit and do what he tells you and let him speak for you. A faith of um, gospel share is one who lets the Holy Spirit share the gospel through them. They don't do it themselves. And it's nothing but love. You know, yes, as Christians, we don't want no one to go to hell. We don't want no one to choose hell. We want everyone to choose heaven. And it's our job to tell them about what Jesus has done. And we should, we should do it. And it, the thought of people spending eternity and burning should just make bring us to tears and hurt, make us put a fire in our belly to share. And to be effective, it has to be the right way. Hosanna Wong, her brother didn't believe in God. Her father was a big time, I think, in San Francisco, sold drugs and stuff. The best of stuff he shouldn't. He, let, he accepted Christ later on and became a minister. But her brother, and she was trying to share the gospel with her brother. And so what she did, her brother was big in comic books. So she went out and bought every comic book that he was interested in. And it would sit at the table and they would have conversation with comic books. Until he would listen to what she's saying and would start spreading the gospel. And that's what the uh, video is about. I recommend y'all to watch the book. I think she has it on YouTube. I will try to find it and put it in the comments. And um, so you can see it, the link. And because I think Celebrate Recovery Summit last year, she actually done a, spoke about that. 
And I recommend you watch all of her stuff. She does spoken word and share the gospel through spoken word and it's awesome, powerful. If you like this this video, I mean, I recommend you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification, which is like a little bell. Hit the notification button so when we do videos and drop them, you'll see it. Uh, we, my son does them uh, every so often, a little devotion, read them, I make a video, my wife is doing them, and we should be getting right back doing them more often. I uh, will soon begin working on a message about who who you are in Christ and who and it's really it's taking off the labels that we have not had in the past for our past life and in Christ who we are. That is one I want to work on and bring to y'all as a meal. It's probably end up being a feast. And we'll, and I'm going to write as God leads me. And if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, we recommend you say, um, accept him, that he loves you and cares for you. And I read the verse earlier. If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Just accept him in your heart, ask him to forgive you. And no matter what you've done, he will forgive you. Because he loves you and he wants a relationship with you and be your father. And until next time, and we love you here at Rooftop. Keep and watch our videos, share it, and subscribe to our channel. See ya. Bye.